Hi Pets Collectors, I'm Erin and since the Batman movie was just released last week I thought it'd be really fun to go over all the Batman Pez variations that exist. We better get started because there's a lot. In this video I'm not going to include any of the Batman Pop Pez. There's a few of them and I don't have all of them but luckily my dad does so I'm going to take a little field trip to his house and film over there the Batman pop pez that I don't have because there's a few super rare ones that they only made like 200 of each so I'm pretty surprised that he has those in his collection he said I could come over and film them for the video and maybe we'll get a little peek at his pez collection because he's got a lot of pez I don't even know how many he has but I know he buys a lot of pez so if you don't want to miss out on the Batman pop pez video make sure you hit that subscribe button and click that little notification bell so you don't miss when that video is released. It might be a few days from now because now that I know that he has them all, I really want to go over there and check them out. The first Batman Pez was released in 1966 and it's a Batman A and you'll hear me say like Batman A, Batman B, Batman C throughout this video and each time the letter changes, so Batman A to Batman B, that just means that the head style changes. And that's a really good way to classify pest dispensers when you have a whole bunch of different variations. So that's not something I came up with, that's something that exists in the Pez world. So this is the first Batman A, and I usually keep it in this little container here, but I'm going to take it out and show it off for you. This definitely is one of the most unique Pez dispensers I think that exist, especially for older vintage Pez. In this little container, I don't know if the camera picks up those feet in there, but inside the bottom of this, there's feet glued on. So you can have vintage Pez, and then you can have feet so that they stay in, and then they're less likely to fall over. But check out this Batman A with cape. I really do love this post dispenser a lot. And the cape, it's like a soft, it's not like super soft, it won't break. I don't want to bend it too much because it is old. If you do come across one of these Batmans with capes and the cape is hard plastic, that's probably a reproduction cape. So beware of that when you're buying these. You want to make sure that the cape is a softer plastic. Like you can bend it really easily. I don't think you'll crease it, but it bends. It's real soft. I think this is a really great start to this video. I'm just going to put it back here in the stand so it doesn't fall over on the desk. <laughs> so this is Batman A with the cape and no feet. And then there's also a Batman A with no cape and it should be pretty much the same here. It looks a little bit darker blue, but when you look at these older Batman Pez, you might see slight color variations. I have a whole bunch of them here. So this is a Batman A, no foot. Here's a Batman A with feet, and you'll see the similarities with the head. This one just has feet on it. The Batman with feet Pez came out in 1989, and you can already see the color difference between these three Batman Pez. And just for a reference, I want to show you these. So check out these three Batman Pez, and they're all kind of a different blue color. So when you're shopping for a Batman Pez, you'll run across these pretty easily. Some are more teal, some are more blue. If this isn't enough Batman A Pez dispensers for you, the same dispenser, it also comes in black. <laughs> it should be the same head mold, it's just Batman is black instead. I'm sure there's a lot of other like small variations between these because I did notice that this teal one has it has that red candy pusher in there but I don't want to get that detailed in this video I just want to show you like an overview of the different Batmans like with the head variations. I do have Batman A on card I just love this one this one sits out on my Pez shelves I just love the older graphics of these cards they become fewer and farther between to find. If you can find older Pez on cards, those are always great ones to add to your collection. Especially if you're just going to leave it on card and not open it. Here's another Batman A on card. And this is the Batman and Robin card from Pez International. Pez International, they used to shrink wrap their Pez dispensers to the cards. You'll see that there's no bubble. It's just the Pez is hooked to the card. I think that makes these kind of special because they don't do that anymore. Now it's just all Pez carded with the bubble. Here's another Batman A Pez 
And this Batman has a black head. Look at that. And a blue stem. So that's pretty neat. It's on the Batman and Robin card as well. And check out the old candy. Even the Pez candy graphics have changed for Pez International. I like this one a lot. I like how it has the black cowl and the blue stem. The last Batman A on card I have is an all black Batman. So this is Batman A again. This is just a generic three color Pez stripe card. And ew, I just noticed. I don't think that that's... I don't think that's Pez leaking through, but that's something. <laughs> but check out the back of that. It's kind of neat. It's showing the Pez body parts. Oh yeah, I'm going to be making a video all about the Pez body parts soon. So hopefully you're looking forward to that. Because I am. That's kind of gross. I don't know what's on there. <laughs> I also have a bunch of these Batman A in bags. And these all have feet. So here's a blue bag. First one was the red bag. The all black Batman A with feet came in a blue bag. Came in a red bag as well. And in a green bag. It's pretty nice. So the older Pez bags, they were just red, blue, and green. So if you're ever looking for any Pez and bags, those are the three colors that they used to come in. I almost forgot I have this huge box of Black Batman A Pez dispensers. And this one's never been opened. And this also sits out on my display shelves. It comes with 12 Batman Pez. I really like this one a lot. We're going to go back in time just a little bit. And here's the soft head Batman. I really like this one a lot. The Soft Head Batman Pez came out in 1979 and they call them Soft Heads because the heads are soft. They're not a hard plastic. I'll give you a side-by-side -side comparison here of Batman A. It's kind of hard to tell but the Soft Heads, they're more like a Funko Pop vinyl. I don't know. I'm not really sure what they're made out of but they're more like a doll head I guess. <laughs> I really like the soft head Pez. All the soft head Pez, they come with no feet. But I do have a little pair of shoes here that I put on this one because I don't want to fall it over. This one's really nice. Next up is Batman B. Now this is the Batman Pez dispenser that kind of moves the Batman design forward, I think. Because before, Batman A kind of just looked kind of cartoony and classic. But I think this one represents more of what Batman looks like in the movies. This Batman Pez was released in 1996, but in 1995 that's when the Batman Forever movie was released and that was the Val Kilmer Batman. So maybe they wanted to make it look more like Val Kilmer. This Batman Pez might be based more off of a comic book Batman because in the movies Batman never wore a blue suit. Batman always wears like a black or a really really dark gray suit. And this Pez is a really, really dark blue. And there's two different head variations in this Batman B. Take a closer look there, you'll see how pointy the ears are. A couple years later, in 1998, Pez released this Batman B Pez. And look at how rounded off the top of the ears are. They're more like little shorter nubs. And this other one here is really pointy. Here's a side-by-side -side comparison so you can get a better look at it. I mean, it's not like super pointy, but I think when you touch it, maybe if you're a kid, it might poke you. In this newer rounded one, it's not so dangerous. Gotta keep the kids safe. These are the only two Batman B Pez that exist. I also have Batman B in this bag. This should be the rounded ears Batman. I think this one's pretty neat because it's more of the original Pez bags, like after they made the cellos. So this is a green one. Here's a newer bag. It's not the newest bag, but this one has little Pez candies on it. I really like this one as well. This is a rounded ear Batman B. Also have this Batman B on card. And this is a Pez International card, which is really nice. I really like the orange and then the Batman graphic on there. And it says the adventures of Batman and Robin on it. So I guess that was made for that movie. Here's the back of this Batman B card. This Batman B Pez is the pointy ears one. And then I also have this Batman B Pez on just the generic Pez card. And this one has the rounded ears. It's really nice. I also have just a whole box of Batman Bs. <laughs> Maybe this one here came out of there. But I have stickers up here. I guess someone was selling them and they say $1.59. That's always fun, I think, when you find price tags on your older collectibles. 
Check out the box. It's pretty neat graphics. The back's kind of boring, but I like it. This is displayed down on my Pez shelves. I like having like a little display box, especially of older Pez that you can't find anymore. And so you can see how that they were once displayed at stores. I think that's really fun. It's more nostalgic, I guess. That's it for Batman B. I'm gonna move these out of the way. Let's move on to Batman C. Let's move on to Batman C. And Batman C is that one right there on the end. Get a little closer there. And you'll see that they added a logo to the stem. So it's like, I guess, the logo on Batman's chest. This gift set was released in 2008, which is the same year that Batman The Dark Knight was released. You know, with Christopher Nolan as Batman. But as you can see, this Batman looks nothing like the Batman in the movie. None of the Batman in the movies ever wore a blue suit. They always wore the black and the really, really dark gray suits. So I believe this is modeled from the comic book Batman. Back in 1964, the Batman comic was released number 164, and that's the first time that they released Batman in a comic with that yellow oval behind the logo. So I think that's where that comes from, but I think that they've used this you know, on and off ever since then. You'll see it in the Batman, like, animated stuff in, in comic books. It comes in this box set. I also have this Batman C on card. You can get a better look at it here. See how it has the logo on the stem. I really do like the idea of putting the logos on the stems for the superheroes because most of them have their logos on their chest. So I think that's a really fun idea. Batman C Pest Dispenser also came with no logo, so it's CN's logo. And here it is on card. It's the same graphic as the one with the logo. If you want to see the back of the card, here's the back of the card. So this is Batman C. Oh, and I do have Batman C open, so you can take a closer look at it. Batman's head just gets so much bigger. <laughs> Check out the size differences between Batman A and Batman C. It's like the designers in the room were like, just make Batman's head just a little bigger. Just, just a little bigger. Maybe just a little bigger? And then they're just like, oh, the head's not enough. We need the full torso. And that's where Batman D was born. I think it looks nice though. It's kind of weird how there's no arms. It reminds me of some art statue that you might have in your house of some famous person. And it's just the bust. <laughs> this Batman again has the, the blue cowl. So the cow when I say cowl, that's the ears and the face mask. And then the cape is blue. Then he's wearing his gray suit, which has the black Batman logo in front of the yellow oval. This Batman D just kind of modernizes, I think, Batman C. And then from here on out, all the Batman Pez, they all have the torsos on them, I guess that's what you call them. And mostly all the superhero ones, except for some of them, they have, at least the DC comic ones, they have the torsos on them as well. So it's not just the head. There's only one Batman D Pez that came out in 2011 which I guess they just kept it simple. <laughs> Moving along, here's Batman E, and this was released in 2016. Also in 2016, Batman vs Superman Dawn of Justice movie was released. This was made for the Batman vs Superman movie, but also in 2017, just one year later, that's when the Justice League movie was released. Not the Zack Snyder, the Snyder Cut one that we heard all about last year, but the Josh Wheaton one. You know, the one that everyone just hated, so they were like, give us the Snyder Cut. So this Batman E, came out for that movie and then it was out along for the Justice League movie as well. So this is the Ben Affleck version of Batman. He's got the shorter little bat ears. That's how you can tell. And then it has the really chunky logo on the front. I like this one a lot. For the Batman vs Superman movie in 2016, this gift set was also released. Look, 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 look. Who's that? Wonder Woman? She's actually in something? <laughs> Gal Gadot as Wonder Woman, this was her first debut in the movies, which was really exciting, at least for me, back in 2016. So I'll never forget that. I'm a huge Wonder Woman fan, and I'm glad that they added her to this box set. Now I say I'm glad that they added her to this box set because there's also this box set that I do not own, and it has Batman and Superman in it. I mean, the movie is called Batman vs Superman, but Wonder Woman plays a really big role in it. So if you haven't watched that movie, it's not one of the best DC comic movies, but I think it's pretty entertaining. So go watch it and then I think it might make you appreciate these pest dispensers a little more. I really do like the graphics on this box. It has Batman and Superman on it. It's the same on both sides and then the back of it. The back of it's okay, but I like the graphics on the front especially. This is a really nice, this is a really nice box I think to display and this one sits out on my Pez shelf as well. 
this is pretty nice. But so I said the Justice League came out in 2017, but also in 2016, Pez released this Justice League gift set and it's a tin. You'll notice Wonder Woman is missing. Instead you'll see it starts over here and there's Superman, there's Cyborg, Batman, and of course Aquaman. I mean that is most of the Justice League but not all of them and I don't know why they couldn't have added one more spot here to add a Wonder Woman Pez but I don't know they didn't. <laughs> I wish that they would have added Wonder Woman in the Flash. I think it would have made the box set even better but check out the back of this. It's pretty cool. It has a giant JL logo so Justice League. This side's pretty cool too. It has the logos of the Pez that are in there. This side is just the board side. We don't need to cover that. <laughs> We're getting really close to being finished here. These are the Batman E Pez dispensers. Here's the last Batman Pez I have. This is Batman F. And this Batman is from Justice League. But it's not the movie Justice League Batman. So comment below if you know what Justice League this is from because I tried looking it up and I couldn't figure it out. But it looks like from the Justice League animated series. But it doesn't look exactly like that Batman. That Batman has like longer ears. So I don't know if they just kind of shortened and rounded off the ears so they wouldn't be dangerous. But let me know if you know what Justice League this is from. We do have a new Batman Pez release this year. I guess because of the Batman movie that was just released. Anytime now between March and April we should expect to find this new Batman. And you can see that this new Batman is based off of the new Batman movie Batman played by Robert Pattinson. It looks just like him. It has even like the smaller bat logo on its chest. And I haven't seen the movie yet, so no spoilers there. I'm waiting to see it. I'll probably see it pretty soon here. Because I am a really big superhero fan. I really like all the Batman movies and I've watched and read comics and, you know, watched different animated shows and movies. And I've watched all the Batman movies. So I'm pretty excited to go watch the Batman movie and see how Robert Pattinson compares with all the other actors that have played Batman over the years. If you've seen the Batman movie, comment below and tell me what you think. Just don't put any spoilers in there for anybody. Just say, hey, you know, this was like the best Batman movie. Or did you like Robert Pattinson as Batman? I'm pretty excited to see how he does as Batman because I just know him mostly from the Twilight movies. I like Robert Pattinson in the Twilight movies and I've seen him in other things. He's been in other things. I, he was really good in Tenet and I've seen him in other movies over the years, but I want to see how he does as the Batman. <laughs> Pez is also going to release this box set here and it also has that same Batman with the black cowl and the black stem and the new logo. But also included in it is a Batman with the blue cowl and then the yellow oval behind the logo. It looks like the heads are the same on that so I haven't seen the movie yet so maybe there's something in the movie or maybe they're just giving it like a throwback. I don't know why there's a black and a blue Batman. If it is from the movies don't let me know. <laughs> I'll find out really soon, but I'm pretty excited to add those new Batman dispensers to my collection. As I said before, I'm going to be releasing a Batman Pop Pez video. If I added those to this video, it would just get way too long because there's already so much in this video. It seems almost overwhelming, especially if you're new to collecting. That's it for this video. Hopefully you enjoyed looking at all these Batman Pez with me. It was really fun to get them out and sort them and put them in order and go over the differences between all the Batman Pez because it's crazy how, you know, you can just have one Batman Pez, but the way that the design has changed over the years, I really like that. So that's something fun, I think, with collecting Pez. It's not just the same Batman Pez that they've been making years and years and years. There's always something new to look forward to. And I think as long as DC Comics is around, I mean, Batman's going to be around. So we'll be getting more Batman Pez in the future. And there's always going to be another Batman movie or there's going to be always going to be Justice League or you know whatever Batman appears in. So that's always something you can look forward to and if you're not following me on TikTok or Instagram I'm Erin Pez on both of those. See you in the next video. Bye!